Dat was de nieuwe lijnschijf deze week. Roxette en Listen to Your Heart. Daar zit Billy Joel. Welcome here in, in Countdown in the studio. Thank you. It's an honor to have you sitting right next to me. Thank you. About your new single, We Didn't Start the Fire. It's 40 years of history about, and you're about 40 years old. I'm 40. Does it, is that the reason why you made the song? Yeah, I think that's the reason I did it. I turned 40, I said, well, what happened? And I started writing it down. Just, just writing and writing? I and just kept on writing, right off the top of my head. Any events that, that you feel related to? And you say, well, well, special things. I mean, you used to be a boxer. Yeah. And you, at one point, you sang two boxers. Oh, Winston one, one. Beats Patterson. Yeah. Uh, well, that was a big fight. I mean, that I was, I know it was a long time ago, but that was big news when I was a kid. And you're singing all the events, and then you say, we didn't start the fire. What do you mean with that? Well, we didn't make the mess that the world is in right now. I mean, we were born into it, and it was a mess while we're alive, and it's going to be a mess long after we're gone. It's a, yeah, but it's a messy place. You think it's a messy place? Well, the world is in turmoil, sure. There's oh, all kinds sure of is, problems. But, but still, in your songs, there are a lot of good things, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't consider yeah. Mar Marilyn Monroe bad. I mean, no, no, she no. died. Well, that's why I tried to write it so it balanced out and showed the good and the bad. It's just, it's a crazy place. And you do what you can to make it a better place. Is it some sort of criticism from you to maybe America or the world saying, like, hey, guys, wake up? I think it's a, it, the point is, hey, this stuff happened. You should know about it because it happened in a lot of our lifetimes. The tune is very catchy. Mm -hmm. And then when I started listening to it, it's pretty heavy. Didn't you get some criticism from your fellow Americans that say, whoa, uh, Billy, isn't this going too far? No, everybody likes the song in the States, as far as I know. I haven't seen anything bad yet. Nah. What do you, <laughs> knock on wood. <clears throat> Today is, um, yesterday was ha Halloween in America. Yeah, today is Halloween right now in the States. I want to say hi to Alexa. Happy Halloween. It's my little girl. She's like this big. And your, and your wife, the most beautiful wife in the world, is walking around with your little daughter? Yeah, yeah, I kind of miss being with him on Halloween, so I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. It's time for the top 10. Okay. And it's all yours. Okay, let's start with number 10. It's Randy Crawford knocking on Heaven's Door. With Eric Clapton on the guitar. All right. Number nine is Cher, if I could turn back time. Wait, wait, why didn't you put her in, in, in your song? Because she's always in the news, always doing something Who? strange. Cher. Why didn't I? Yeah. I only had four and a half minutes. <laughs> I know, but maybe Cher is a short <coughs> name. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. I'd rather go okay, with her. okay. Uh, number eight is Gloria Estefan. Oya mi canto. Number seven is Double Trouble with Street Tough. The Rebel MC. You know that song? No. It's later on TV, so okay. we'll show it later. Uh, let's see. Number six is Carly Simon. I know Carly. It's you hard know? to be tender. Is she yeah. nice? She's great. She lived in, in Martha's Vineyard, which is not far from Block Island, where you used to work. I can't believe this guy's the host here. <laughs> he used to work in the kitchen in Block you Island. You have a pass. You have a pass for doing all kinds of odd jobs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But not on Block Island. No. <laughs> uh, Kiss AMC is number five with a bit of. You too. And number four is Kaoma with Lambada. And number three, this guy's a friend of mine, Richard Marks. He He'll sings on the album. Soon. Yeah, he's, he does? Yeah, he's what singing numbers? on Stormfront and on uh, That's Not Her Styles. Richard Marks is singing with me. Whoa, that's, yeah. that's good to know. And his song is Right Here Waiting. Yeah. Number two is Sidney Youngblood, If Only I Could. He could, he's good. He sings and about the world too, about changing, better place. Number one. <laughs> Number one is Millie Vanilli with The Girl I'm Gonna Miss You. What do you think of them? I like some of this stuff. You do? Yeah. That's good. Billy, thank you very much for being here. We'll see you later on Kay. the stage with your new number. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm David Bowie, and you're watching Countdown, Europe's number one rock show.